What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Antiquities War draft here on Magic Online. And, uh... I'm pretty sure I like Call the Cavalry over Quende. So, I'm gonna take Call the Cavalry. I don't think any other cards in this pack are really standing out. Fire Intervention's good. Antiquities War is pretty much hot garbage. Ooh, into Banalish Marshall. Um, considering we just took Call, I think we're gonna take Banalish Marshall over Slimefoot. All four of these are fantastic. We could always just splash Slimefoot. Is that better than Banalish Marshall, though? Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Marshall seems very good. I don't know, man. This is a very, uh... This, a, this forces us to be green is the, really the problem here. I don't like... I don't care about green. I don't care about no greens. I'm gonna go Marshall. I have no incentive to, to pull the, uh... I mean, we're just fine being mono white here until until such time as we have to branch out. Oh, Remaker, I'm gonna pull a Teferi, trust you. All right, I'll keep, uh, yeah, I'll keep hope alive here for you. How could that be incorrect? I always underestimate the uh, the usefulness of like stretching after like stretching and just moving around between between matches because uh, I don't know why I don't do it. I'm gonna just take the syncopate here. I don't think charge is great, and I like the blue. I like blue white, so we'll just blue white it. How did we do with our previous Dominator draft? What did the last draft do? Was it 2-1? I'm pretty sure it wasn't a 3-0, so... Yeah, I think it was 2-1. And none of these cards are great. They're all pretty bad. I mean, Sarah Disciple's probably better than Tiger Scholar, but not really. Like, in our deck right now, it's just basically a 1-1, one, one, where this guy turns on all of the, uh, the Academy Journey Mages we get, so... Ooh, I do like a Memorial to Glory. Over a dub and a second syncopate, certainly, especially with the Banalish Marshall. Uh if if there, if we find a way to if there's is there any way to get creatures back in white or blue? I'm not Adamant Will is a good way to protect him. What's your favorite old school card? Like pre Meriden? Uh can I say Ancestral Recall? Is that a legal legal choice? Because if so, I would say Ancestral Recall. Uh, Knight of Nubinelli, Aster Glider. Car oh, like like a card you played with casually back in the day. Okay, um, let me think about that. Weather Seed Tree Folk was a good one.
Antiquities War came back, like you do. I'll take Voltaic Servant from we open the Traxos. The flower was purely card disadvantage. Oh man. Yeah, Lotus is pretty bad. Oh man. Is it raining? I think it's raining. It is indeed raining. Forebearer's Blade. Clearly not any of the cards we're looking for, but still pretty good. I'll take it. Um, so I guess I had to, if I had to pick, I would probably say like Singular Vampire. I always felt like that card was extremely OP back in the day. Memorial to Genius, that's a thing. Invoke. I want to take the Memorial because we can probably find another Invoke, but I actually don't even care about the... I don't care about the blue so far, but I also don't care about any other colors either, and there's nothing in this pack really pushing us in any direction. I did hear about the uh, I did hear about Traxos being playable in standard. I've seen I saw like this sweet deck that actually had a Traxos in it, and uh, it actually won some games. So you know, surprised everyone. Oh, Knight of Grace. Oh, uh, excuse me. That's a pretty easy pick. Uh, I like Call the Cavalry over Sanctum Spirit. By a large margin. Eviscerate. That's better than all the blue cards I have right now. So, okay. Gideon's Reproach. I think that's better than Sanctum Spirit as well. We also have six creatures plus two calls, so that's eight creatures right now. I'd rather have the removal. Hopefully we can get an Invoke on the wheel. Yeah. Oh, Wizard's Retort. Dang it. Coldwater Snapper, also very, very good. Um, uh, makes the Eviscerate worse. Actually, we have Memorial, too, so I don't even know for... Like, that's... Ambitious. Snapper's good. Retort's usually just three mana. It's also double blue. I'll just take the snapper here. Relic Runner actually doesn't seem terrible in this deck. Guard. 
Oh, there's an invoke. Sweet. I remembered to renew my Twitch Prime sub. Biovisionary, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Twitch Prime sub OP. Or UP. It's underpowered. The Sunday I'll play PPTQ, what would your choice be? Standard PPTQ, huh? That is a good question. Um, I'd probably play some kind of blue-white deck. I think the, the blue-white decks just have the strongest cards. Oh, Slin Vada. Don't care. It's a lot of healing graces. I'll take the foil because I'm fancy. Are you, though? I don't think so. Cool. Second slime foot. The guy to our left is real happy. Yeah, you get the same amount of value, but at the end of the month you see a significant drop off. Like as you can see, like um we've been at three hundred for like the past week now because every day I wake up and I'm 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 down ten subs because the Twitch Prime subs have expired. Um so it's it's more frustrating at the end of the month, but I mean, like, I still I still appreciate it. It's still a sub. A sub is a sub, so. I guess we're going to take this and hope we can get an arcane flight at some point. We could splash for eviscerate, or we can just take blink, which is strong in its own right. Take the card that's strong in its own right. Another call? Alright, I'm just gonna keep taking calls here. Arvad's good, but we don't actually have any other legendary guys, so it's literally just a 3 3 lifelink for 5. Yeah, Twitch Prime subs don't auto renew, so at the end of the month you see a bunch of subs drop off. Not at the end of the month, but at the end of whenever, you know, in 30 days. So if today I got 15, 15 Twitch Prime subs, on uh, June 28th, you'd see a, a big drop off of subs. Song of Frailies, holy Jesus. I'm gonna take this because if we actually get a surveying scout, I would actually just play this. Also, you're terrible, I don't know why you're still in the deck. Uh, the difference is that people don't renew. They don't they don't renew at the end of the month because they forget or because... So you see a bunch of subs disappear. Whereas if they're just regular Twitch subs, they auto-renew so that you... They're just there. They don't... None of these cards are good. Jousting Lance is fine. How many equipment do we really need, though? Eh, we're not going to play Sapperling Migration, though. Oh, a Thran Temporal Gateway. Cool. It's not that cool. Well, we actually did. I think we draft two of, two of the Memorial Lands. Mirage 
Atari conjecture. That could be good. Get into approach, Adam at will. Blink, double call, syncopate. Actually, this actually seems pretty good in our deck. One arcane flight on the wheel, one time. Ten creatures, but three calls. Not bad. We're going to take this because we're supposed to. Song of Frailies, though. Sad times. Oh, Macy Unicorn. Significantly better than Honor Guard. That was a little gift. And I guess we'll just play Flight Wake Up. We didn't see a single Academy Journey Mage this draft. We didn't see a single Cloud Reader Sphinx. Super weird. <laughs> Just in case. Ugh. Twenty three is this our deck? I think this is fine. We got one, two, three, four, at least five triggers for this guy. Six with the Marari conjecture, which is pretty good. Yeah, this deck seems fine. It doesn't seem great. Ten seven, any double blue? I don't think so. No. Okay. I don't want 11-5. That's a little, it's a little too few blue sources. So 11-5 is only 16 lands. Well, we'll keep this because it's a great hand, but this Memorial to Genius is real awkward here. Planes. <gasps> we did it, boys. It's pretty good. Hey, we found the slime foot drafter. And we don't have a ton of removal for that guy either, so that's unfortunate. Sure. I will risk it for the biscuit. Great. Saga, Vicious Offering, 
fill this guy two for one me. Sure. Fantastic. You're good at magic. <laughs> Congratulations! On the bright side, we did not have any two mana removal spells, so. Good for them. Good for you. Land. Oh, Marari Conjecture gets back. Call the cavalry. And nothing right now. Well, I guess we can just uh, not do anything while they sit there behind a 2-3 and making guys all game. Yep. I don't will. Or planes, sure. Not sure I know the difference. <laughs> it was there all along. All right, well, that's fine. Three. I'm not going to trade this guy for a Lenor Envoy and a Saperling, so two Saperlings, whatever. Cast. Sure. I was expecting Vicious Offering there, but I guess that's fine. All right, let's see what happens. I have one card in hand. It's pretty good. You take four and they gain four. We're at 21, so. We could actually conjecture here to get back at him at will, which seems pretty good. And then next turn we'll get Call the Cavalry back. That's actually really good. Make a guy. Sure. Oh, Mr. Esposito himself. What's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Nick, when are you coming down, man? I'm looking forward to seeing your beautiful face. Next month? Oh my, you mean June or July? I guess we could play that next turn for double guys, but I'm, I'm going to try to blink of an eye this guy at the end of the turn. Which I guess still means we should have probably done it at the UOT instead, so. June, July, that's both of them. That's both of the months I said. Unless you're saying both of them. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I'm so excited, Nick. God, we get no value out of that. It's so sad. Actually, maybe we do. If we adamant will here, we do. 
<laughs> they know we have adamant wheel with double value on it. That's pretty good. Oh, that's late June, though. This is all fine. We can also deal you nine here. So one, two. So we have nine mana. Here's the thing though, if we keep this guy up and deal them nine, it puts them to four. We can syncopate and then they actually have to block, so it doesn't really matter. If they got ten, they got ten mana, they're gonna pay seven, they'll have seven left over. We will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can syncopate for six, which means they have one left up. Yeah, this feels correct. Syncopate. <laughs> yeah, Syncopate and Mitsotis. They're the... Uh... Yep, yep. So this guy's lethal now. Uh, and we can single paid for everything but like one. That's if they play a land. If they don't play a land, we tap them out. So. So they can pay it, but it taps them out and it forces them to just block with the with the slime foot. So. Yep, seems good. Run also seems good. I guess we'll just pass here. If they want to attack for 10, I'll take it and syncopate whatever they play to kill them. That would be ideal. It's pretty good. No blocks. Four, eight, six, eleven. Ten. Sure. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that seemed greedy. So, slime foot. <sighs> Do, 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 do. Adam and Will seemed pretty good there. Syncope definitely did some hard work. Do we see any invoke targets? I don't think so. We'll add Adam and Will over invoke for now. Magic is hard.
Oh, uh, I'm feeling good about Uncommon Cube. I've enjoyed it so far. It's funny because I've enjoyed it, but I actually haven't won many matches. So, like, I'm enjoying it because it's like a puzzle that I have to solve. And I actually have no idea what the, where the power level of the card sits because it's very, very new. So, yeah, it's been it's been interesting, to say the least. Sounds pretty bad, but we, we can keep it. We got creatures. Any creature in this hand gets good. Like, very good. Yeah, I've been having a really rough time, and I'm trying to figure out why. But it's, there's been some fun to figuring out why, I think, so we'll see. We gotta lead with all these white mana because uh, if we draw a marshal and another plane, so we just want to be able to cast it. How did F and M go? We ended up playing a wow. This is just a mono equipment dot deck here. All right, now it doesn't matter as much. And then they, of course they play corrosive ooze. We're just gonna be like infinite equipment against your corrosive ooze. Uh, we ended up playing blue white control. We ended up going three one. So. Yeah, your your board matches up pretty well against ours right now. Okay, having a good time. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I don't even see I haven't even seen a Polak worm yet. Call the cavalry one time. No? Okay. Well, we can pass. Yep. Make a little gentleman. Hundred percent have gift. Oh, no gift. That's a good deal. I'm down to clown. Give me my stupid call to cavalry. Island. Similar but different. Hockerworm is the Teferi of Uncommon Cube. Fantastic. This is sad that we have to do this, but like, it's there difference between a three-turn clock and a four-turn clock, and it's also a just a way to get deeper into this stupid. Get back slime foot because that's what I do. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I didn't foresee you attacking there. All right. Good times. But it was not good times, it was bad times.
Yeah, I'm not thrilled about getting back their approach here just because we don't have... I'd rather just draw like a call first because we have a lot of... Yep, there you go. So next time we can get call back, or we can get reproach back into call, which is pretty good. Make a dude. And they're one mana. Actually, no, they can do it now, right? Yeah, they can just make two dudes now. If they see it, of course they're going to see it. Two dudes a turn. Fair card. Interesting. So the problem is if they destroy this, that this guy dies. This is the only guy that doesn't die, so I'll just get rid of the lance. I mean, I assume they have gift in hand, but... Yep. Sure. That's a sizable dude. Yeah, slime foot's a fair and reasonable limited card. I mean, if you have a second gift, then we're just dead, so. Also, sacking both of these guys to draw cards would be really strong. Hmm, interesting. Aren't we just dead? Why don't you just kill us? Can't you just make a sapperling and then sack all four to kill me? Why are, why are we doing this? Also, now that we've seen Helm and Fungal Plots, we're definitely bringing in the, uh... Opponent does not seem to know how the cards work. Well, his hand's terrible. This is mildly better. They do have a lot of words on them. You're, you're not wrong. Corrosive ooze every game, like you do. I mean, having a single pay call to Calvary with Murari Conjecture is pretty good.
Cause you're the best all around. And nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You're the best. That was fantastic. And it was good because it gets around Memorial. And we got Marari Conjecture to get back both the cards in the graveyard. I think that was a pretty game-changing turn. And this time we're actually going to keep the Call the Cavalry until the Marari Conjecture pops and then we can get four tokens. And it will be us who are the token deck, you'll see. Yep, that's all we wanted. Good deal. That did feel good. Feels good. Oh, they didn't play anything? Oh yeah, well they're missing land drops, so that's pretty cool. Oh, give me my call to the Clavelry. Well, this game ended pretty handily. Cast down my unicorn? Oh, you just make a 1-1. One, one. I gotcha. I understand. That's fine. <laughs> you got it. Why not get callback? We did get callback. Isn't it in our hand? <laughs> what are you saying right now? I'm going to make a bunch of tutus. Watch my tutus. Oh, they just they concede on the spot to the four tutus. Seems good. Oh, they said good game. Hold on. Dang it. Really? Seriously? Come on. Come on. All right, hold on one second. I'm going to grab a drink and take a little break, and I'll be right back in two minutes. Don't go anywhere.
Okay, apologies for that. Hopefully everyone on YouTube is still there. They probably just doubled the speed. Yeah, spoiler alert. You guys are watching on YouTube. Just 2x the speed through those bad boys. I would never be gone forever. Where would I even go? I don't care anymore. The moon or the ocean? Both of those, I guess, are good. Those are good guesses, I guess. I guess they're good guesses. They are as empty as my conscience seems to be. <laughs> Post asking memes in chat. Oh, David, you're good. You're good people, buddy. I'm going to play first. Oh, this hand is the gases of things that I... Look at this hand. Look at it. I mean, they're going to have an answer to this guy because they always do, but let's pretend they don't. And we'll get to live in... We'll get to live in magical Christmas land. This guy. You recording or anything? So we played this guy. It's our turn too. Fantastic. Man, just walking around for like five minutes to get out of like the bright light and like the monitors and like all that definitely helps. Sometimes you get like, it's almost like it's, it's a weird feeling of like claustrophobia when you're in like, when you're like streaming and there's like a green screen behind you and everything. It's a weird feeling. Sometimes it just takes a lot. You just got to walk around for a second and get some drinks and stuff. I don't know. It's weird. You wouldn't think it because you're just sitting here playing. Like, you're just playing magic. But there's a lot of, like, sensory. Sen there's a lot of sensory impact that's taking place. Like, there's bright. There's like a bright LED strip right in front of me. To make sure we're well lit. That's rude. See, I told you. I told you they'd have it. I don't care anymore. I like this water bot. <laughs> I know you do, buddy. I know you do. Do we have Invoke in the main deck? Let's find out. Yeah, we do. That's cool. Invoke's a cool card. Oh god, they're gonna do a thing. Oh my god. Thank you. Defenderix, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Did you ever come up with a 300 sub goal and what's the plan for 350? I have no idea. These are these are just personal goals. It's not like I've never had it so that like if I hit this goal, I'm going to do something cool. Because I actually, I'm like I've said multiple times, I'm terrible at thinking of those things. I don't. I'm not opposed to it, but I mean, a lot of times it's just ridiculous. Some people, people suggest ridiculous things, so it's really hard to stick to those things. You kill this guy in response. Okay, I see. Take five. Five alive. All right, so your deck is getting a lot of lands. This guy ramps. This is a land. This is two lands. Put 
Put you in the front. Put you in the trash can. Make two more gentlemen. Because I got so many gentlemen. We're at a point where just playing Academy Drake might just be worth value here, but... Oh, wow, that's a good one. Oh, wow, that's a good one. I don't think we're actually bringing anything in. I haven't... We're both 1-0. But... We'll see. We'll see. My dreams... They are as empty... I don't care anymore. I'm just mixing two songs. I literally have uh, I have the Who in in my head, and I have <laughs> Phil Collins in my head. It's fantastic. I'm gonna syncopate this because you might need the blue real bad. And I'm going to say I also have things to play in every every turn from here on out. So. Oh, a whisper. Syncopating seems good. I wonder how many Call of the Cow would be too many. I think theoretically I play 23 if they are. Yeah, the card is amazing. I really like, I, I've had, I have three and I'm just like, yep, that's a good amount. Uh, Twitch says you're subbed because someone gifted you a sub, I suppose. I actually thought you subbed yourself, but now I know you did not, which is sad. Too bad. Oh, they're going to target themselves, I bet. Uh-oh, something's happening. Demonic Vigor and Blood Tallow Candle. So if we play this, put on a guy, they just block a different guy. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. Thank you. Dale Ellington, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Six months in a row. Hot diggity. So if you block here, you take five, six, seven, eight, nine, you go to five. Unfortunately, spicy brews. Are no match for a good multiple call call the cavalries. Now you go block block. We actually have to block this guy now, so that's pretty cool. So we can actually just attack with this guy and play Partic Wanderer here. Actually, this is really good because we can bounce you. And blink of it. We can blink of an IU. And then you still have to block this guy. Oh, that's actually game, I think. Actually, we could have blocked the other one. That would have been better. But I think it's it's game either way. They block here, they take one, and then they they're dead. We we figured it out. <clears throat> MJ stats for Dominary Sealed Blue it is the best by such a margin it's comical. I I haven't actually That's my that's my conclusion as well. If you can draft a blue white deck, draft a blue white deck because it's utterly insane. I mean I draft other things because I'm trying to play the format and get experience with it, but like Yeah, if I ever just want to win because I feel like I'm I'm running out of packs, I usually skew towards blue white, and even the medium blue white decks are just so much better. I think Call the Cavalry might be the strongest card in the format. Oh wow, this is actually pretty good. Not in the format, but in the blue-white archetype. That's what I meant. It's gonna be Banalish Marshall on top. Oh, a little uni.
All right, so. I think Unicorn's just better here because we can actually just keep attacking into the the one three. Now we can't, but. I forgot this was a different match. I was like, oh, I guess they're playing white now. I didn't see this guy last last game. I actually just forgot this was a completely different match. Sure. That's annoying. Three colors, huh? Okay. Horn horse with a sword, watch out! Bam, damp, 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 bam. Horn horse with the sword, watch out. Yep. Get in there, little relic runner. They didn't do anything last turn. That's interesting. I knew that would become a. How did you know? Did you really know that? You get out of here. That's a little 2 2 Drake. You're my little horn horse with a sword. Oh, Pardic Wanderer, eh? Okay. That's such good value. Have yourself a merry little horn horse. And now it's dead. Goodbye, horn horse. Nick Esposito, you are the best. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, buddy. Those people are lying. I'm actually going to crack this, because if we hit one of the one-mana artifacts... Oh, that's actually good, too. Okay. Mm, okay. Trample and Vigilance are good abilities. I'm just going to keep eating, eating damage until I... This sword is so broken, dude. Okay, now the turtle is significantly scarier. Now I'm actually afraid of the turtle. But not today. Got my party, Wanderer. There's no way they block there. So they I mean like we're we're at parity right now. So Where's my invoke, dude? I really want an invoke right now. Right now. It's your invoke, yeah. Sure.
sure. It means everything. I mean, we're going to hope the top two cards are either Invoke or something else. I really just want to... I don't think we can do that yet. Felt like we were in real good shape up until right now. No blocks. Interesting. I'm pretty sure at this point the uh, the tur the on Sarah's wings is much scarier than the icy manipulator. Oh snap! Turtle battles. <laughs> Oh boy, Nicholas Espernacho. I would have liked another land to draw a card. But killing this turtle is pretty good. Just block it. Yeah, you gotta block that turtle. Just block it. Block it. No one wants to block the turtle. I don't know if this is a good thing. They don't gain life and their turtle could be dead. Just block it. Just block it. Block the turtle. Just block it. The turtle died, he doesn't have a new hand. Put him in the graveyard and he does a dance. I don't know where the song is coming from. We got rid of the turtle, though. Your turtle went to the trash can. I think they're like, do we just put it on this guy for now? They have five cards in hand. What are these cards they have? Bunch of double white cards. How about Marari's Conjecture so we can get back Blink and Call? That'd be gas, right? <laughs> I might have been possessed by Weird Al. That seems like a reasonable uh, conclusion to, to draw there. Oh, Just Bounce It would have been good there. Just Bounce It. Just Bounce It. This actually might be the game. They're going to tap a dude. We're going to invoke this guy. They block here. They take seven. They go to one. Oh, they're so close. Oh, this is, this is definitely a blowout. No one wants to be defeated. So you gain four, you go to six, and then you can tap one dude. This was MVP. Also, with Icy and on Sarah's wings, we're definitely bringing in the unwind. This, yeah, that seems like a last, uh... yep, no blocks. Tap a guy and draw the things. Gonna attack you with all my. So you block here, you gain four. There's no point in that. You block here, you go to ten, but you take nine. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just put you down to. Put you down to one, perhaps. Oh, wow. Bye, bye, little Sebastian. Sure. 
Are they dead? They tap a guy, block a guy, they take nine. That's the saddest thing. You can block here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you go to one, sure. I'm wondering if there's, uh, if we should have just put the, the Forebearer's Blade on the turtle. Probably, right? <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Marari's conjecture one time, perhaps? Oh, that's, that's gas. That is gasoline. Tap that guy. You gain six, you can block here. I think you're just dead. They haven't had something for a while now, so like if you have something now, it's gonna be very strange. Double turtle, double, is this the same turtle? No, the, the other turtle was blocked, right? Yeah, double turtle, double on Sarah's wings. That's, that's pretty good. Oh, got him. Wow, that was close. I didn't, I was uncomfortable with how close that was. All right, you're coming in for sure. I think that's all we really need here. Whew. Zach, so we are currently 2-0 and up a game. I'll just tell you my record. Oh, they, they did that too. All right. I'll keep this hand. We have infinite whites. And sicko paid for one seems strong, so. Watch, now we're never going to hit a white mana. I mean, whatever. Horn horses in hand. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I don't care about that. Syncopate's going to be stronger later, so. Crying out loud. White mana, please. Oh my god, really? Is this really happening? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Uh, what are the bombs? Literally none. We don't actually draw bombs. I don't know, I don't know what you, I don't know where you got that impression from. This is amazing. Oh, look at that. We did it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Cute. 
Oh, I'm gonna tap your your planes instead. Oh, I'm a I'm a crafty wizard. Ugh. I mean, this is probably the closest thing to a bomb, so. I will play first. For real? Fine. It's like the opposite hand. Yep, of course. <laughs> Here we go. Fucking Christ. Sure. That time when you win the first game by a by a hair. By a, and then you. Oh, thank God! Do we get to do anything here, though? With that, I don't. Not really. I don't feel safe doing anything. Well, on why? Actually, we don't have a counter spell, so we might as well play this guy. Actually, that's fantastic. Island one time. Well, that's a thing too, I guess. We do get that back. We get one of these back with the Mirari Conjecture, which is pretty sweet. Bye, bye, little Sebastian. Sick turtle, bro. Kapow. No, sir. None of that BS here, my friend. One, two, three. Call the cavalry. May I see unicorn? Sure. Double snappers don't scare me much. I really just want to call so I can actually get back two things. I feel like we're in good shape here. Yeah, that's fine. One on the bottom, one on the top. Sure. I mean, I like if we attack with turtle because they have to block with the turtle. So it's like turtle on turtle. But then they can't, like, 
They actually can't really even attack with turtles here, so. Oh, you have a Gideon's Reproach. How nice. You don't have a Gideon's Reproach. You do have a Gideon's. Seal away. Okay. Sure. Put it on here in case they even get rid of the Banalish Marshal. Are you gotta be kidding me? Oh, Jesus crying out loud. That's unbelievable to me. Sure. Cool turtle. What do you have now? Is it a gift of growth? You're splashing for like gift of growth? Sure. Find a tap this way if we're actually equipping the sword. Yeah, I know they just cast on Sarah's wings every turn. Thank you. <laughs> helpful, Monsonster. Helpful. <laughs> Doubt there's any da any out in the deck for Muldrotha. What does getting back Blink do? comical puts them to six like I mean they're gonna just play on Sarah's wings on Maybe even on this guy, which would be insane. Yeah, that's what I figured you'd do, actually. But at least now we can Marari Conjecture, get back Blink if we hit a blue, and bounce him. Which is pretty good. For Christ's sakes. <sighs> yep, fun game. Never didn't have it at any point. That's pretty cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Sorry for the uh, the salt there, but that was uh, 
Mm, pretty miserable match. Either way, uh, really appreciate the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon, and I'll see you next time.